Hey, this is Rick from Mike and Rick Outdoors, and I want to tell you about some great waders and shirts, and hats, and boots from Paramount Outdoors. But before I tell you all that, while I'm fishing out here, please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as we put out new videos. So Paramount has, uh, you know, we've got some great gear from them, and let me get this vest off because the vest is not from Paramount and I think I'm going to wrap up my tool here let me get this out I've all set up to catch a fish this morning if you didn't know of course I didn't say it yet I'm at 11 mile reservoir near Lake George Colorado there's really some really good fishing up here so before I talk about Paramount there are really four places to fish there may be more but of what Mike and I know Right over here is the dam, and that is the be below the dam. There's 11 mile canyon, and there's a beautiful river that goes along that canyon, and there's a road that goes all the way up to all the way up to the dam. So you can get a lot easy access to the river, and there's a lot of people on that river, but not as much as you think, and it's and the fish aren't stressed out. There's not too much pressure on, this, uh, on them, on those trout, and, and Mike has always caught a lot of fish on that river with his, uh, when his daughter and him have come up, and, he, and then him and I have been up here too on that river. So you got the canyon, you've got the 11 mile reservoir, which I'm on right now, you have the dream stream just upstream of the, this reservoir, and then there's Spinney Reservoir. And there's a lot of pike in, in Spinney Reservoir. Then beyond Spinney Reservoir is Antero Reservoir. So that's really a fifth area. And I think that's like maybe 15 miles away or so. But right here in this one spot, you got Spinney Reservoir, the Dream Stream in between. It's only catch and release on Dream Stream and only like I think lures and flies. And then you've got so the reservoir and then the canyon. Great place to fish. It, it just does get windy in the evening. So keep that in mind that... I, I got to keep checking my line here. I should be really looking at it more. But keep it in mind when you're up here, it gets real windy in the afternoons. The mornings are great. Like right now, it's just completely calm. When the sun goes down, it gets real calm again. Usually we, somewhere between, you know, 8 and 10 o'clock at night, it'll really calm down. Now, I've had some wind all night long up here, but I'm getting off track. I wanted to talk about Paramount. So... We've got, I've got these boots and I'm not sure if you can see them. I'll back up here real quick. I've got the best boots that Paramount has and they've got the, the metal cleats on the bottom and then they've got the, the pants here or the waders hook into the boots and I'll show you images of the bottom rather than me putting my foot up. So it's really easy. We've been on rivers in Colorado and here on the lake and uh, it's it's so much easier to walk on the rocks when you've got those the rubber and the metal cleats and then these are reinforced waders right here they're chest high waders front zippered there's two pockets right here and they're pretty decent size and uh let's see did i put anything in here uh, my keys were in there my son has them right now and you know i don't know if there's any more zippers than that actually there's one on the inside yeah there are zippers inside here and let's see how big that one is it's about the same as the front pocket and just the right there's only well, one zipper on the right side here there's a clip or a button a, a snap right there adjustable straps and it's very comfortable waders, honestly, because like I said we've been out on rivers here in Colorado and, and lakes and reservoirs, and they're great. You know, we've got some video from three years ago when we first started trout fishing, or Mike did, and I was actually just videoing with my, my cell phone. But we, that's how we started. And, man, we were in T-shirts and shorts and tennis shoes. But, you know, we were learning and having a lot of fun. Well, so now we have, we're getting more better gear. And Paramount really has some great stuff. So the boots, these waist-high or chest-high waders. Mike has waist-high, basically, pant waders, which that's, I want to get those next. Because when we're out here at the lake, I really don't feel like I need these chest-high waders. I want this when I'm in the river. But out here, when we're getting in and out of the boat, 
then it's it's nice to if we got to get the motor on or for some reason we got to you know be stepping into the water up to the knees and you know up to our up, you know a little higher up then it's nice to have those pant waders but again these are the front zippered chest high waders and the shirt this shirt is also from paramount i really like this shirt a lot it's very th lightweight it keeps the mosquitoes off of me keeps the you know i don't have to put sunscreen all over i just put sunscreen actually on the top of my hand and then on my face now in the morning normally i wear a broad rimmed, rimmed hat which i also have from paramount and that i want you know, when i'm in full sun the sun's up here uh, then i can um, have more shade but this shirt is so nice it's lightweight and it dries quick even when it's 90 85 90 degrees out here it's not hot i mean i don't feel like i need to be in a short sleeve shirt and you know because i'm i'm sti it's stifling hot it's not it's really lightweight there's vents in it you really like the shirt this hat is also from paramount and i think it's a bass on it instead of a trout i was looking for a hat that had a trout on it but sorry it's a bass and i'm trout fishing but uh so anyway here i am with pretty much everything from paramount uh, i don't think paramount sells underwear so i don't have the paramount underwear i uh, yeah tmi sorry no for no, no reason to go any further with that but do i have anything else from paramount i don't think so but they have some great clothing some great gear i mean i wouldn't say gear they have a really good clothing line for fishermen so check them out you'll really like it it's a another option from some of the other suppliers out there so i hope you like it if you got any questions if you have any advice if you have things and clothing and waders that you like or if you have questions about how these are holding up i've had several people that have questioned Mike and I and saying, hey, you know, are, are, is it really that good? Well, so far it hasn't failed. We've been doing, uh, it, we really like it. It's, it's just some really good quality gear. Well, thanks for joining me here on Mike and Rick Outdoors. Again, if you have any questions, thoughts, comments, leave them below. And please like, subscribe, share, and turn on notifications so you'll be alerted as soon as we put out new videos. Thanks for joining me, and we will see you in the next video.